Right, hello from the Flanagan Homestead. Today is April 16th. I'm going to be putting some fertilizer down today. Uh, we got it here in the gator. Actually, Josiah is holding the camera right now. He's going to be putting most of the fertilizer down, but this is what we're doing. Um, we're, the trees have not flushed out yet, which we want to put it on before they do. The root growth is starting, typically in this area. If you look at the research, the root growth has started already, and uh, the limb growth is going to be starting soon. You'll see the trees budding out, flushing out, and growing. And uh, So we're going to try to get the fertilizer on the ground. We're going to sprinkle it around the trees here a little bit and going to let the rain start getting it into the ground so that uh, when the tree is really doing a lot of growth it will have it already in the ground. So no, the buds have not flushed out. And another reason we want to do it before the limbs flush out is uh, if we do sprinkle on the branches, which you're going to see, we're going to get some on the branches. The noble fir and the grand fir needles have kind of a waxy covering that are very protective. The new growth will not have that. And if the chemicals are caught up in that and you get wet, it can do a little bit of damage. Uh, in the past, we've seen that it hasn't done much, to be honest, but uh, it's just a little bit more protected this way to uh, put the fertilizer down now. Okay, some years we do a soil test and uh, we get a, an exact reading of what we need. Most years though, uh, when we know that we're in a, uh, for the most part our soil's in pretty good shape, we get a standard Christmas tree fertilizer here from Valley Egg and it's uh, a 23010 plus boron. So obviously there's a lot of nitrogen. Uh, the boron is a trace element that is added and it helps uh, uh, produce bud pr production so that the trees fill in more full. So 23010 is pretty much what Valley Egg mixes up for just a standard universal Christmas tree fertilizer here in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. All right, we like to put our fertilizer in a bucket, a five gallon bucket if you fill it up, it's pretty heavy. If you only have it halfway full, then you're reaching down too deep. So this bucket, I don't know what it is, probably a couple gallon bucket, seems to be about right, and we take a scoop. Uh, we sprinkle approximately two ounces of fertilizer per foot height of tree. So an eight foot tree is gonna get 16 ounces of fertilizer. A four foot tree is gonna get eight ounces of fertilizer. Uh, we've had measuring cups and done this in the past, and could see exactly what it is and then you don't actually measure out every tree once you get a pretty good idea what it is you just start going up and down the rows and do approximate good okay uh, one thing that we've found in the past now i don't have that many tall trees left right now because we've been shot through uh, but when you're going around taller trees if you just shake this out and you walk around in a circle by yourself and you do that too many times you're going to be really dizzy so just uh, if Josiah and I were doing this together, I would do one side of the tree, working it down, he would do the other side. Uh, I would also recommend, even if you're doing it by yourself, is to just take this and go down one half of the trees, going, going down the rows that way, and when you get all the way to the end, then you'll come back the other side of the tree, and then you'll come up the row and you'll just be sprinkling the fertilizer around the drip line all the way here so you're not spinning circles and getting really dizzy. Okay, again, we should have about two ounces per foot height of tree. This is a over six feet tall, so we should have at least 12 ounces. I'm going to be sprinkling this around the drip line of the tree, so some of it is gonna get caught up in the branches, and we found that you know the rain will just wash that right down into the ground, and it'll be absorbed into the ground. So uh, where the drip line edge is, uh, there'll be fertilizer about six inches inside of that, and to six inches outside of that, and as the rain uh, dissolves it and spreads it out, it'll be uh, going into where the roots are the most active. So then we'll, we'll just sprinkle this. And like I said, some will be caught it, getting caught up in the branches. Some's on the ground. 
All right, there we have it. A pretty simple process of fertilizing Christmas trees. Uh, when you have taller trees, I know a lot of people will take actually a broadcast spreader and drive down the rows and throw it out, and the branches will catch it and then drop it on the ground right on the drip line. But we have so many big trees gone, and we're filling in that that's not going to be efficient here. So we sprinkle around all the trees. So thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Be blessed, everyone.